hey guys hey family welcome to the this transformation video so into this video i'm going to walk you to how i achieve three different styles of ponytail before we get into the make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified when i upload my next video so i am doing three ponytail and i did this in like five to six hours all right so these are uh, um bridesmaids and we had to get the hair done the day before so y'all would do bridal party you already know how you know it goes down if you stand in a wedding or bride maid you got to make sure you know be sure to get your hair done the day before because the day of the wedding you just want to focus on your makeup so i always advise people to get your hair done the day before so let's get into it my three beautiful models in this video each of them had their own star so imagine that i have to do three different style of ponytail at the end of the day it's gonna be a ponytail but everyone got their own look okay so it was like not crazy challenging because yo i already know you know the down part and i know the way i wanted to go and you know it was fun it was fun things getting juicy out here so let's get right into it so my first model out here she wanted a, a look with with the two curves in the front and i mean she was there early so i you know did the ball cap metal off camera and then as and i used my superior holes waterproof lace glue to install her wig so check out kelsey's unique hair superior hole waterproof lace glue so that glue yo yo want to try it i use that for my lashes and i use that for my wigs and my customer wigs so i got enough in stock you want to shop that and you know try it out for yourself because it's really good it keep your wig down long and as long as you take good care of it you got a long way to go with it all my clients i have used it on they always like okay with the install so why not give it a shot so anyway i'm done storing so i'm just cleaning around it and then go into you know styling it but let's see so since we have to hold this ponytail in the back and start it so you're gonna see me tying down the front like a couple of times because i'm not trying to pull on the head you know you want to avoid that as much as you can so <clears throat> after i tie it down i went in with my hair comb and some wax stick apply it to the head so that i can comb it all back and just have it ready to you know slick that baby down okay y'all so that's what i'm doing right now combing it back and then i went in and straighten it a little bit and have it ready for starting so look how that baby look look how that baby look so her glue down was perfectly installed and i did little like i just wanted to give her that natural part i don't know that day i was just feeling natural <laughs> i was feeling natural okay i said it's getting juicy out here so i wanted her to walk away with that natural look this part we're gonna have a two curves in the front but i wanted around it to just look um more natural okay i wasn't trying to do too much i mean this is of mine she like to slay she like to be pretty but at the same time she don't be trying to do too much okay so that why i did what i did and after i did that i tied it down again and then went into straightening it and you know styling it back Never forget what it's like to be in dead, babe, stabbed in the back 
So at this point, I'm done, you know, straightening it and I'm just ready to go in and just slick that baby down, like give it that perfect look because, you know, she like, I want to sleep, make sure my hair fine. I want my hair to be really nice, you know, I mean, yeah, I got you always. So I was taking my time and, you know, I did the job. So let's see. Just a quick tips if you are somebody who you you know learning how to do your own hair or learning how to do clients hair you know when you working on hair just make sure whatever you do on the left side you want to apply that same technique on the right side because you want to avoid you know not doing you know the same steps on the other side that can actually lead you to like may probably having one side perfectly down and the other not so you want to work your way like back and forth kind of stuff like that mm. so so far she's all you know down and i have a you know good grip over her but you're going to see me going back and forth trying to really hold her hair in the back so i didn't tell you what i'm using here is so uh, 360 this week that's from my shop okay so if you would like to purchase this week you want to check out kelsey's unique hair check out our website and you can purchase yourself our 360 this week but this week is also our second time installing it and it's a really really beautiful week every time we install this we get a perfect look like every time it come a good okay so now um I just used the um how to call it that's Morris the product I just used on here. You can get that from your local supply store. So that's why I just apply a little bit and then you see me coming down that hair. Ooh, see how perfect that look, yo. Oh my god. Yeah, so I had her help me hold the front since I took her the hair tied. You always want to ask the client to help you because especially with this, you are really pulling on the hair. Oh my God, this, if you don't have them hold the front, you can, it, there's a possibility you can pull the hair back and you can actually probably hurt the customer because you got glue on the skull already, so for safety purposes you want to have them hold it and there you are you see that baby all slick down she already feeling herself yeah yeah that's a wig yo that's a wig okay so in this video you're gonna see the difference the difference between the wigs huh yo i'll be telling you you get what you pay for y'all you get exactly what you pay for so if you go into a stylist for a particular hair, you want to go up for a particular hairstyle, you want to go with what they recommend. I know sometimes we'll be trying to add to know or we'll probably just be maybe not have the money to spend or probably just, you know, just want to do our own thing. But work with the stylist because they are always looking out for you. That's an advice. Take it work with the stylist if you want a hairstyle for a special occasion work with the stylist and i tell you if you go to my website to order a wig message me message me ask questions like 
is it like this is it like that i'm willing to answer you like if you send me a message on there y'all i'll be right on it okay so please ask questions before you order a product that's just an advice it's good if not you still gonna get what you order though but just in case anyway yeah yeah that's our look she's coming up so good so since this like a 16 inches long wig i had to braid the head and i had to secure it because this is a wig all right you listen to this it is a wig after doing this style she can still use her wig for maybe straighten it out or she can actually curl it again so what i'm avoiding is to put glue on the wig there's a possibility a little bit might touch the wig but i'm trying my best to cover up that wig so no glue can touch it because i want her to be able to use her hair again that's why i'm applying that on it and we are not gonna sew the track um the bundles to the hair we are about to glue it down so in order to do that you have to protect it another way you can do this is to sew it which is going to take you a longer time than you know just wrapping it around with the glue so there we are I know y'all wondering, am I going to leave the back like that? Don't you worry. That kind of be sleek up and that baby going to look good. But don't worry, okay? It's going to be fake. So, as of right now, I'm making sure that everywhere around the hair is neat in the back. And then, yeah, we are in the front. We about to start this baby up. Give her her finishing look yep 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 but so far so good she looking great isn't she isn't she make sure to like this video y'all make sure to share it all right follow me on instagram at kelsey's unique hair like my facebook page kelsey's unique hair and well where else follow us everywhere but subscribe most of all subscribe right now so y'all let's go making sure i get her pat right and we're gonna go in for some curling and then bam we're gonna get to the next client i told you it's three people we are working on so stay tuned don't go nowhere make sure you see it that's her look that's her finishing look right there so i was gonna go in with you know tiffany the part in the front but you see her back you see that that's perfectly done so there she is good look so as i was saying about the front i was gonna go in to put um some makeup and stuff in the part but i mean she was like no it's fine it's fine i think i like it like that but yeah that's how long it is and this bundles she bought it from me this is her old bundles yo when she called me queen i want this what kind of hair i could go with as i said i am always looking out for you if you talk to this girl she gonna tell you that i saved her some money on this hairstyle because she was thinking on buying front her she was thinking on buying bundles and i told her woman you got your old way you better bring that hair all right you got hair that we use you got bundles you got a, a, a 360 wig that can actually achieve this look so why would you spend money on buying another frontal when you can use that yo it's my business she's my customer she, you know she's family yo i look out for you so come on now you about to pay me you know like almost one fifth or something to get this look so why can't i like just give you another idea and i'm gonna help you save some money so yo that's me i'm always looking out for you okay so this is our next beautiful client and her style was a middle part. Okay, y'all, she brought her wig. That was it for me. 
and she brought her hair for her ponytail so my three clients i use wig and the added ponytail so that's what we about to do here yeah, with her but she gets in the middle part all right so as usual i use my superior whole waterproof lace glue and i did the ball cap metal because i'm always trying to protect the hairline so i use that to cover the hairline and then i'm not gonna put the cap or the glue i'm the, i'm not putting it on that stocking i'm putting it like at least an inch in front of it and when i'm putting that stocking on i try not to bring it all the way on the face yo i follow the hairline that's a tip for you you want to take it always go according to the person hairline even if they are bored you know exactly where the hairline is so protect it first before applying your glue okay take it or leave it help your client out you want to save the hair just by you applying a wig so so little like just the difference you're gonna see the difference in this this hair and her the first client okay so what i noticed this week was kind of big you know because when we yeah they are both weeks all right so why was the back you know little like push up compared to the other one so that was big that's why but you're gonna see the end result for some reason um the recording wasn't perfect for this second star but you're gonna see everything in this and you will see it at the end all right so i'm just showing you how i do my ball cap metal i use my got to be glue sorry got to be gel so you know secure this the stocking once again i use my got to be gel to secure the stocking so after i apply that i let it dry and then i apply the makeup over it and then apply it in the cap so that that can actually blend I don't just use any foundation. I use her skin tone because you want that to match the person, you know, you, you know, it's all blending. So you want it to match the skin tone. Let's get into this. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action So that is done, that's how I go up with that so before I apply the glue, you saw I put the cap on her head. So I will do that and then I will, I do that because I'm like kind of measuring her head with the cap. So I know exactly where to cut. I do all that cutting, everything and have the wig ready to, you know, glue down before I apply the glue. All right. So you want to be sure the cap, you know, fits the client head really well. You know, this was good for real it was good she had um a lot of hair braid down in the back so i mean the cap was a little big but i was able to like you know hold it so you know her was it was good it was good too so this is my dear client 
And for her, she was like, I'm leaving it up to you to give me the look. What do you think? She was like, you the stylist, do you? So that was kind of cool. So for her, you know, like me, if it's up to me, that's what I was going to do with myself. Like, I just like that classic look. And I feel like holding the hair or back and maybe doing a little edges that just kind of give you that you know that classic look so that's what i had in mind for her and two her install was also perfect like it was perfect to the extent she really didn't need a lot of baby hair and stuff okay oh um, yeah she really didn't need to you know cover her front and kind of things like that so i just like Gave her that classic slick back with little baby hair. So let's see what that let's let's see how we do. That's what I did, y'all. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to gains, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to gains, let my money show. Wow, guys, see, see that, see how perfect that is. Wow, her hair came out so nice, 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 nice. So, as I said, did a little baby hair, wasn't much, you know, yeah. So, I'm just plugging it out to see how I wanted it to go, but her hair, um. It came out really good. <laughs> so the back was a little um big and stuff, but yeah, we managed it and it was decent. But I guarantee that front was down perfectly. Yep. So what I'm using for the edges is the um the same got to be gel, the black one, that's what I'm using um for some reason that kind of that helps to hold down the edges longer and you know it's also easy to move around once it's on the hair you can still play around with the hair so yep you'll see how perfect that look so we're gonna do this and then i'm gonna tie it down while it's setting i go in the back and start up on the tail and remember it's a week too so i have to apply the cemeta i did with the first and second one to secure the wig because once they take the ponytail out they can still start the wig another way they can straighten it they can curl it so you always 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 want to protect the pressing wig all right
don't want to sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hell of shit Holding these waves die it was a little hassle for me um, Because it was a little bit big in the back okay so the way in which i would have loved it to really lay down flat um that was hard okay i had to like comb it out you know hold it comb it out hold it but i mean i was able to achieve a decent look with it so you know that's not bad but if you kind of trying to go with a ponytail like this i'll tell you if you could get a fronter get a fronter that's easy then try and um tip pins on your hair tip how your hair look in the back and all that but i use a fronter on a client who had no hair in the back so we did the 360 fronter because that was big so that fronter kind of cover almost half of her hair so the remaining back part of her hair the hair could cover it and i was able to hold it in the back so if you use if you have if you are bored okay and you're using the uh, and you want a fronter go with the three the, sorry go with the 13 by 6 fronter that's big enough and you can actually you know just hold the hair itself on the front or in the back and add your ponytail so but you see how you know this came out came out great too like the first the second and this is the third so yeah i'm about to do the same thing protect her wig and then apply my apply the bundle story yeah i had to keep holding it just to make sure it's tight enough Okay. but so far we are about to wrap this up i want you to remember to smash that subscribe button like it share it and i appreciate you if you watch this video to the end thanks for staying with us make sure you um check out my instagram page like my um facebook page check out our website for wigs for bundles for closure I customize wig. I got my sewing machine and I make wigs from scratch. If you're interested in learning anything, leave me a comment. Okay? I will respond to you. And if you want to see me do a particular style, challenge me to it. Alright, guys? Love you. And this is our final look. This is our final look. So, yep, three different styles, five hours for you know they are all brides made so thank you and well subscribe